Okay. Guys, I gotta get to the embarrassing oh, compliment. Okay, sorry, go ahead. You have the most perfect nose. What? Do people tell you that? No, not okay. at all. I hate my nose. No, like, it's perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god, no. It's so pretty. No, no, no. Okay, we'll get a segue. I'm not, so you don't get embarrassed. I know. Our next guest fuses pop, electronica, and tribal sounds. She is the one and only Cordelia. Bienvenida al estudio. Hi, muchas gracias. Thank you for having me. All right, let's get this party started, girl. Yes. One, two, three. Wow. wow. <laughs> I love the tie-dye. Thank you That's so amazing. much. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really into it lately. You're so fun in these. These thank are so you. pretty little rhinestones. Oh, thank you. Love it. I, like, I wear them I, lately a lot. I don't know. It's just like it became like my favorite thing. Tie-dye and these things. What That's if you go to sleep? That's all I wear. But do you go to sleep with them and then you wake up with like one gun? Oh, yeah. yeah. One inside the eye. The oh, other one. Oh, yeah. It's like those people that no. go to sleep with their contacts. No, yeah. I'm actually pretty, pretty good about like washing my face no matter what. It's so important. I feel like hygiene and for the skin. To, like, I hate it, girl. Every I, night. I like no? washing my skin, but when I have makeup on, I'm just like, oh, I'm just so I tired. I look so fabulous. Why <laughs> do I have to like take this off and look ugly afterwards? Because usually <laughs> right when you wash your face, like the makeup off, you look the worst that you've ever yeah. done. It's yeah. like the entire day. Yeah, like yeah. red speckles everywhere. Uh, it's yeah. all bad. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Anyway. I, I like either one. No, no, no. I, sometimes I have to wash the, you know, makeup like right. today. Like I, I, right. it, it gets uncomfortable. But sometimes I put eyeliner if I have to. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, That's really? a joke. Wow. <laughs> That's really a joke. Really but if I was in one of your music videos, I'd be willing to put eyeliner oh, because for especially sure. look, you have a new single, Consentido. Yes. And then we saw the video for Tedco, mm -hmm. right? I also saw some of your old stuff, Tribe. Yeah. You got a lot of things like like it's pop, but it's also electronic. I saw some like Burning Man influences in the Tribe video. Like, that, tell bit. us a little bit about the, like how you came to your sound. I love that you bring that up. I mean, that, that's really sweet. I've actually never been to Burning Man, but of course I've seen videos like mm -hmm. online, and I'm like, what is this place? It's like how yeah. people are just there in the middle of the desert, like few I like. I don't understand. I don't understand. How do you do? Like, do you bring your own toilet paper? <laughs> difficult than going camping because it it's is. literally oh, it's hard it's oh, actually really hard to do but was it hard yeah. to shoot a video out in the desert um yeah i actually did shoot a video out in the lancaster desert for awa oh that's yeah because tribe, like tribe was in a studio but oh. but awa was actually like in the middle of the desert and it, we had to catch it right on golden hour so it was tough like to bring in like the drone and the camera guy and like the crew it up looked there, beautiful but, though but it was worth it i guess yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, fun it, it does. was fun it was. i love making music videos. now when i found out that you were going to come to the studio because you know, I know that in some of your videos you have like a lot of very traditional kind of indigenous clothing with the feathers and all that stuff and I was like is that something that you just have at home or you just it's just for the shows it, yeah no it's just the stuff that I've collected over the years um, from like Mexico and, and from out here and like I've even found like tribal stuff in Canada like it was like okay. well what is this what and I'm really curious about all of that um, and it's so colorful that it just looks so cool on stage yeah and it also kind of represents where I'm from like I'm Mexican and I like I like colorful Where stuff, as you can see. I'm from Monterrey, yeah. uh, up at the north, um, but I have a lot of friends in Guadalajara and, and Mexico City. You, you see a lot about like uniting the world and uniting, you know, yeah. the, people coming together and stuff like that. And I also see like when he was talking about like the indigenous stuff, like I'm, I seen some like shamanic, like like you yeah. know, because for me, I've been getting in touch with indigenous really? culture through like shamanism and stuff. Is, have you ever experienced any anything okay. like that in real life, like shamanism or ceremonies or mushrooms or ayahuasca? Or I no? actually, oh, oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to get mad at this. I don't want to get mad at this. No, 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 no. See, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. It's really spiritual. I've never actually experienced it because I'm deathly afraid that I'm going to trip the hell out. Because you're uh -huh. already there, like, real, you're already I, there. You're I already know. in that like, frequency. Mentally, I'm already, like, yeah, you know, like, pretty crazy out there. Um, so I'm like, I don't want to mess with my psyche with those like psychedelic things. But, I'm um, so glad that you mentioned that though, because that's one of the reasons why I haven't tried it. I am so afraid that I'm just gonna like pass out on Right? Yeah. yeah, you hear all these like crazy like things, like friends of mine that have like, I tripped out like on peyote. And I'm like, oh my God, you are so brave. I don't know, honey, but he can tell you. Yeah, you can so tell me, let's ask something up here. Well, but here's the thing about Ava Gabriela. Sometimes she's like street, like what's up? I went to Paramount High. And then sometimes she's like super protective. Catholica, like, no, my mom. Because I 
I'm gonna I reference that she's a Scorpio lot. Are you a Scorpio too? I'm actually Cancer, but my brother's okay. Scorpio, so nice. I can relate so, to that kind of. She doesn't believe in any of that stuff. I, I'm, I'm me. Yo soy Gabriela, and that's it. I know. Right. Scorpio's no, 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 no. Pero también dicen que soy Scorpio, Libra, cusp, or something yeah. like that. Right. I'm yeah. October 25th. That's the nice part of me. Oh, she's like Medusa. She has a bunch of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of personalities. Be careful. I'm bipolar. Yeah, no, no, but, We're but all bipolar. I feel like everybody has a different like facet to the personalities, which is what, like, I, I don't like necessarily like live my life like oh because I'm cancer I must do this oh, every yeah. day no but like at the same time it's like it helps you learn about yourself a little bit sometimes mm -hmm. it's like oh you're emotional sentimental creative and it's like of course okay. apparently you and I get along <laughs> maybe this, this is interesting. I see that isn't yeah. it obvious uh, yeah a little bit uh, it's interesting though that you mentioned the different facets of everyone's like persona right. because I you know when I was doing my research for the show I noticed that you know your name is Cordelia with a K yeah. right now Cordelia with a Y Yes. But it used to be just like Cordelia. the traditional spelling of Cordelia. Yeah. Like, is this your Sasha Fierce? Like, oh Beyonce has her alter ego for the stage? No, I am not that interested. <laughs> no, it was just like, like, I wanted to be just Cordelia as my uh, name. Because uh, before, C. yeah, before I had my project Cordelia and the Buffalo, which was spelled with a C. But when I, I just wanted to be Cordelia to be able to release music in English and in Spanish, which is my both, both of my languages. Um, I found that there were already bands called Cordelia with a C and an I because oh. it's like a Shakespearean name and people oh. were like Cordelia and King Lear and I'm like God damn it. okay then I guess I have to change the spelling for it but it, it's cool because it's also kind of like androgynous you know like oh. you don't know like oh it could she could be from Russia or she could be there's actually a cafe Cordelia with a K and a Y in Russia like, <laughs> and an, like, like a coffee shop yeah it's a coffee shop okay. and uh, also a travel agency <laughs> like all right well, how do you know <laughs> this oh, Oh, are you trying to go to Russia? <laughs> I, I, no, I researched, like, is there another artist called with this name? Because, you know, I was changing the name, and, yeah, and luckily I was like, oh, I'm so glad. I so can, you can't book my next flight? I, yeah, I can actually, <laughs> like, travel agency for Lelia. Yes, that's, uh, yeah, that's my side job. So now let's talk about your music really. Tell us about the last two singles and, like, the sound and, you know, where it all came to. Uh, when I was a teenager, I started working, like, playing with Logic. Um, and I re and then I got into Logic. Ableton. By the way, is a, is a music software program because people are like, "Hey, oh. Logic, do you play with Common Sense Logically, too?" Logically, yes. like, no. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, Logic and Ableton, and like now I'm like Machine and like even Reason. When these it was are other cool. programs. Yes. It's our other, like all these programs okay. that help you like make your own like production sound because when um, like I've always written music, but I found when I got together with a producer. Um, it sounded like them, like the production, mm -hmm. and that's great. But I was like, ah oh, man, but I want I wanted to feel like I did this with my own hands. So I like really got into it, and I'm also really into tribal stuff mm -hmm. and and uh, cultures like that with like weird instruments um, that you wouldn't expect in like a like a pop song. Mm -hmm. So I started like mixing around with them and just playing and and. and and lyrically, just talking about what I know and what I've been through, and, and you you can always find someone out there that's been through something similar. We all have that connects, yeah. Right yeah, guys. yeah. Oh. We've all <laughs> had that like one terco, which is like stubborn in English, like that one stubborn person that, that you're video. like. Oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. So cute. I love the color, the <laughs> 60s vibe. Yeah. Oh, when did you get I, inspired? Like, where did the inspiration come from? Um, I guess I. I don't like I'm really into I'm really into film as well and I I love like when they do stuff kind of like uh, like Sin City or like 300 where like the color grading is so vivid in different ways that I want it to be like a juxtaposition of like oh Terco it's like it's kind of like a battle like you're fighting with someone kind of in the song mm -hmm. but I wanted to make like you know like in a nice way like pink and and turquoise and really bright colors and we're just playing tennis but you're actually like there's an underlying reason like you're actually fighting and a fun yeah, fact so you actually play tennis I do I do that's oh, why I did I was like eh, I wouldn't play something that I didn't know oh, but you're also um, gonna play a song for us now yes okay. yes right so what's the song it's called Consentido okay uh, that's the new single yes it's All right, the new cool. single the new alright cool let's, let's, let's bring up your bro what's his name Yusuke his Yusuke. Name Yusuke let's do it Mi 
Mis canciones favoritas tú me las pegaste No me importa el dinero que en ti hagaste Y por tu culpa ya hasta reprobé todas mis clases Mis amigos se burlan que ya me obsesioné Estoy ahogada y todavía me sabes a miel. Que me castiguen, yo me vuelvo a escapar. Aunque mañana me vaya a sentir bien mal. Todo, todo por mi consentido. Todo, todo por mi consentido. Sabes muy bien, me gustaría hacerte cosas. Que nadie te haría que huele bien De noche hasta que se haga de día Sabes muy bien Me gustaría hacerte cosas Que nadie te haría que huele bien De noche hasta que se haga de día Contigo no tengo mi vida Que ya me obsesioné Estoy ahogada y todavía me sabes a mí. Que me castiguen, yo me vuelvo a escapar. Aunque mañana me vaya a sentir bien mal. Todo, todo por mi consentido. Todo, todo por mi consentido. Sabes muy bien, me gustaría hacerte cosas. Que nadie te haría igual de bien De noche hasta que se haga de día Mis amigos se burlan que ya me obsesioné Estoy ahogada y todavía me sabes a mí Mis amigos se burlan que ya me obsesioné ah, ah. Estoy ahogada y todavía me sabes a mí Que me castiguen yo me vuelvo a escapar Aunque mañana me vaya a sentir bien mal Todo, todo por mi consentida Todo, todo por mi consentida